Alright guys, we're down here at the lake. We're going to try to catch us some trout today to cook up. We're using this lure here. It's kind of like a panther lure. But we're going to switch to some power bait. Just a ball of power bait like that. Put it on the hook and just kind of... Do it like that, and you can wet it, try to help it uh, stay on the hook better. But just like that, we got a sinker about three foot down. We got a good size sinker on it. Let's try that out. We didn't get no footage of catching the fish. It's about 10 inches long. It's on the little rainbow trout, and uh, it's the only one we caught, so we have to eat it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it and gut it off camera. Got the fish cleaned and gut it and I cut all the fins off and I like to cut this little layer of belly off it ain't but maybe a half inch or so I like to cut that off make sure it's good and clean inside get all the blood line out all the blood out might need to clean that just to hurt more I could have showed you all me gutting it and all that stuff but Maybe next time. And then we also got to descale it. So just take a knife, paper towel can help, and just get the scales off. You can see, scales are coming off, and you want to get them scales off. It's so small that it's pretty much too little to fillet, and you ain't going to get much meat out of it if you try to fillet it and there ain't much meat on it anyhow so and after I descaled it I went ahead and rinsed it back off again and what we're going to use we're going to season it with a little bit of heaven made products amazing Cajun put just a little bit on the outside we don't need a whole lot okay my son told me to cut some slits in it right here so the Seasoning will get in the meat, so we'll do a few slits in it like that. And we got both sides seasoned. We'll just do a little bit like that. Okay, and we'll rub it in a little bit. This probably ain't going to be my best video. And then we're going to take the inside and take just a little bit and put it on the inside. We don't need a whole lot because this is a small fish. And that is beautiful right there. Real simple recipe. Uh, we're just using what we got, guys. And this is an 8 inch uh, skillet. And I've got 2 tablespoons of butter we're going to throw in there. And I have it heating up over medium low heat. Butter is melted. I know that looks like a lot of butter, but it's going to be mighty fine. We ain't got no lemon. We ain't got nothing like that, guys. We're just using what we have. Probably only cook about three minutes per size. You can take some of that butter, throw it up, throw it up inside there like that. Oh, yeah. Been going about three minutes. Throwing some of that butter up in there. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. See what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Don't forget, keep on basting that butter right there inside that fish. Let it go for another three to four minutes and she ought to be done. Three minutes has went by. Let's flip it and see what it looks like. Look at that, guys. Tell me that don't look mighty freaking fine. And that fish right there is done. And right there it is, guys. One little pan-fried trout with some Cajun seasoning on it. And that's it. Little snack for all of us. Let's give it a try. Man, that's mighty fine. You like it? Oh, yeah, it's delicious. That sounds so screwy. Guys, I'm going to try this mighty fine trout. Get a oh bigger. my god, guys! Get a bigger bite and be serious, man. <laughs> guys, it's so good. Is it good? You like it or not? Oh my gosh, 
gosh, yes, it's mighty fun. All right, eat it all. Can y'all see that trout right there? Nice, flaky trout. Look at that. Let's give that a try. Heck, we need to scan it all. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys, that sure was mighty fine. We was really hoping to catch more trout today, but we caught the one, so a little snack for all of us. Bet. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Cheers.